Thank you. Now, after Hans' presentation, as I said in the beginning, we have with us Dr. Amy Cox. Amy leads the Trading and Engineering Technologies Department at Northeast Wisconsin Technical College. She's a driving force in growing the college's sustainability initiatives, both in facility operations and in curriculum, college-wide. And she is also a champion in diversifying participation in STEM, in science, technology, and engineering learning. Amy, whenever you want, the floor is yours. Thank you. I believe my presentation should be up shortly. I just wanted to, to say thank you for the opportunity to speak um, to you today about how Northeast Wisconsin Technical College is embracing the sustainable development goals and really the importance of um, that we see in the uh, TA3 Alliance and, and what that has meant to us as a college. Um, with that, I, I want to th say thank you to Hans for leading it off and, and giving us some really great um, base, um, like the, the over overarching information um, regarding the sustainable development goals. And I'm going to go through a couple of examples of how um, NWTC and, and, um, and other colleges in the United States are embracing those goals. So I want to start with um, sustainability has a place in all of our college programs. But I wanted to start by talking about the educational programming that we currently have related to sustainability. Um, the programs listed on this slide are, are two-year programs. Uh, they are broken into two areas, really the um, agriculture area and with natural resources and the energy area. Um, we believe um, reducing inequities in our communities starts with educational opportunities for the folks living in our communities. So that's why it's really important for us to uh, have sustainability as a, a backdrop for all of our programs. Our college has a solar energy program, which focuses on the design and installation of solar photovoltaic and solar thermal technologies. Our students have completed assessments and installations on many of our college buildings and properties. Um, you can see some examples of those in the pictures. We also have an energy management technology program. Um, these program students work to optimize the energy used in our facilities by minimizing what we are using and what is lost due to the building or practices that are not energy efficient. Students in these programs learn about building systems and how to figure out the cost benefit analysis for energy efficient projects. We also have traditional electrical power distribution and gas, natural gas construction programs um, that really train students to build the infrastructure for these technologies. Um, so you can see some pictures of the various students and energy program activities going on at our college. The other programs that I thought I'd highlight um, focus on um, fall into the agriculture and natural resources area. The Sustainable Food and Agriculture Systems Program works with students who are largely interested in small organic growing operations. Many of these students work for organic certifying organizations or existing agriculture or farm operations in our community that are looking to diversify their practices and be more sustainable in what they are doing. Um, the other uh, natural resources program that I'd like to highlight is the two-year environmental engineering program. Um, this program trains uh, students, oh, sorry, this program trains students to work in water and wastewater operations as well as to work for civil engineering companies. Another area I'd like to talk about that we feel is very important at our college is uh, around healthy students. And the reason this is important to us is the average age of our students at our technical college is 28 years old. And that may be a shock to some of you not in the United States, but many of the students coming to us have already started families, are working and are balancing a full life outside of school. If a student is hungry, because they don't have enough food or money for food or not able to travel to our campus um, because of transportation or vehicle issues, they cannot be successful. So we as a college have built a group of programs to help these students. 
Um, the Student Emergency Fund uh, is one of those services. It provides funds um, for students who have unexpected things happen to them. For instance, I have had uh, a group of students that have had an apartment fire in the apartment they were living in and the emergency fund helped them buy books and clothes and um, services that way. Um, or a student who has a car breakdown and needs help um, with the money to arrange um, for that car to be fixed or for alternative transportation. We also have a career services department um, that can help students figure out uh, what the right career for them might be and connect them to those educational programs. Uh, once they are ready to graduate from a program, we have, um, there's a photo on the slide of the career closet um, that we have at our college that helps them um, find the appropriate clothing for interviews if they don't have the dollars to go out and spend um, on, that, on that professional clothing. Many of these services that are supported um, at our college are supported through faculty and staff donations. Um, the 100% giving campaign is an effort that our college has for all staff to contribute um, to student scholarships and support services. Last year, 85% of our college staff and faculty at NWTC created, uh, contributed to our foundation and scholarship programs. We also have a food um, harvest pantry, the Shared Harvest Food Pantry, which provides bags of foods to students in need and also is funded um, completely by donations of faculty and staff. We believe our students' success is key to our mission and our sustainability, so every single person working for the college understands how they fit into this goal and mission. Northeast, the next um, kind of example I'd like to provide is about reasonable consumption. So Northeast Wisconsin Technical College believes our college facilities, staff, and students have a responsibility to sustainable development goals. We have internal energy teams, um, new facilities, and student involvement groups that support this mission. We have a cross-departmental energy team on campus. This for us means that our um, technology, internet, I, IIT folks, our facilities, um, staff members, our finance staff members, and our educational team are all working um, to reduce our energy consumption and to reduce the amount of waste we produce at the college. We are on the road to our first net zero energy building with our Great Lakes Energy Education Center that's pictured on, on this slide. Um, the energy learning facility has been the site of a number of student solar installations and energy management um, documentation to get this building to net zero. And we feel like we'll be there within the next year. Uh, students and staff take every opportunity to learn and change and bring awareness to the issues and opportunities regarding sustainability in our area. We host energy efficiency and alternative fuel fairs, as well as energy and conservation club um, for students across many different programs. Um, the last kind of set of goals I want to talk about is the goal of sustainable cities and communities and, and talk about the importance and how we see that playing out at our college. To us, vibrant communities means people living above poverty with employment that allows them to sustain their families' needs. We have examples of great successes. Um, the Manufacturing Alliance, um, which this logo is, is pictured here, was formed because manufacturing is a major industry in our area, and they were struggling to find qualified employees. The collaboration between these employers, the government, and education has resulted in more students interested in these fields, more family sustainable jobs, and more companies able to thrive in our area. There are other alliances in our community with similar purposes um, related to healthcare and marine, um, the marine industry and the energy industry. Another component of this sustainable goal is uh, regards in our, the way we put it is service learning. Every student at NWTC at our college must have an opportunity for service learning prior to graduation. This commitment to serving and volunteering has resulted in students empowered from the beginning of their careers 
with the knowledge of the difference they can make in their community. We have performed solar energy audits, energy efficiency audits for nonprofits, built shelters for homeless, and provided dental and medical services for our community through this service learning model. International travel is also essential to the opportunity for our students and our staff at NWTC. Students have traveled all over the world and the college has hosted international students in our area. There is no better opportunity for students to understand the interconnectedness of our world than to travel and share customs with others. I wanna thank you for giving me this opportunity to share with you some of the things that we are doing at Northeast Wisconsin Technical College in the United States. I value the TA3 as it provides many opportunities to share and collaborate across countries. And I thank you again, and I will turn it back over. Especially considering that the biggest part of our audience comes from Europe, it's always interesting to know the kind of things that you are doing in the United States. Very interesting. And there were a couple of questions for you in the chat. I'll ask you one of them. And this question asks you about the level of inclusion of sustainability in your program. So is sustainability included in the curriculum in, in your programs? Yes, it is. Um, we have a uh, core value that um, it's a set of core values that our students are expected. Things like communicating effectively and um, working in teams. Sustainability is also one of those goals. So each student that comes out of a program, whether it be automotive or um, healthcare, nursing, um, they have uh, components of their learning that includes the, the concepts of sustainability. Um, whether it be the service learning aspect that's required or um, talking about uh, waste and efficiency and um, looking at our energy consumptions. Um, it's a part of all of that. That's very interesting. I don't know, Hans, if you have a question for Amy. Yes, thank you. I would like to ask Amy a question. Um, we're both working in colleges or schools and uh, one of the things that I always uh, think about is how can we secure a strong awareness among staff and among students of the uh, importance of the SDGs so that we make sure that they will incorporate it in whatever they do. C can you elaborate on, on what you think about that? Hmm. Uh, I can try. I, I think um, from my perspective, um, it is just um, it is a piece of what we do. I don't know that I, I would say five, ten years ago, we talked more about how we were going to include those into our curriculum. But I feel like now um, our students, because they are coming through our elementary education and learning as they go, they actually come knowing more about the concepts and so I feel like what we're trying to do is pour implementation together for them so practicing the concepts um, rather than um, you know hoping and knowing that they have a lot of experience learning um, with things like that we do with our service learning projects we are practicing those we are practicing being involved in our communities we are practicing learning about um, waste consumption and reduction so I guess that's what I would say yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Hans and Amy. Thank you, both of you.